Hello, my name is Michelle, and um, thank you guys for uh, coming back to my channel. And if you are, if this is your first time coming to my channel, I want to thank you guys for for coming to my channel to see what it is that I'm talking about. Now, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and feel free to uh, make comments. Um, I'm going to explain what had happened to me, the reason why it's taken me so long to uh, bring you guys another video. I was taking care of my, my mental and my physical health. I was depressed. Looks can be deceiving. When you're depressed, some days are good days and some days are, are not so good. How do you know when you're depressed? How do you know when you're healed? Now, for myself, after having uh, a TIA, that's a mini stroke, then going straight into having uh, your doctor tell you that you have breast cancer, not just in one breast, but, but both. Then getting both breasts removed from your body then uh, being attacked by nurses who were supposed to help with you with your healing process and take care of you after uh, the breast removal surgery, that was a lot. My brain was spiraled out of control and I had to catch myself and it took some time. Uh, and and during that time, y'all hadn't uh, heard from me. I was trying to uh, take care of my mental health as well as my physical health. Now, the memory of my oncologist telling me that um, the most important thing for me to do was for me to uh, stay positive, that stayed in my, my mind. Yeah, and it wasn't easy uh, for me to stay positive. Uh, before my surgery, uh, I changed everything about myself, even more than uh, the pandemic had made me change. Since the pandemic, uh, I became a recluse. And um, that means staying home all the time and staying away from crowds, you know, I started doing everything online, ordering groceries, uh, doing a lot of things online, paying bills, everything. And uh, since since then, I, I had began protecting my, my mind, my thoughts. And what I let, you know, I, I was protecting what I let come in into, you know, into my into me, you know, into my surroundings. Um, I was, I limited myself with uh, phone calls, calls coming in, calls going out. And and the people uh, that I would talk with, I limited myself with, with that also. And what I had started doing, I started using text more than I was talking on the telephone. And, you know, some people was happy about that and some people wasn't, but um, I had to take care of myself. And, and this, I, I started doing this more and more after I came home from my surgery. And, you know, I felt that I needed to do that uh, to limit uh, my response or, you know, things that people said to me, but my bed was the only place I found myself, and yes, I would go to my kitchen, and yes, I would go to my bathroom, but 
uh, my bed is where I, I would spend most of my time. And that was a good, good time for me to heal from my surgery. But of course, uh, yeah. it wasn't good for me for uh, dealing with my my depression from the mental abuse from those nurses and the fact that I no longer had breasts. Now, my my the first three weeks I was home. In my mind, all I could see was uh, those nurses' faces. You know, as I took my medication, and the medication would make me sleepy, and um, you know, my thoughts would wander, and those nurses' angry faces would be. Um, I could just see their faces in my mind. And, you know, I cried for weeks. And then one day, I woke up to a flight or fight moment that uh, that is described by Walter Bradford Cannon. And I wanted to survive. Finally, I, I combed my hair. Um, I took care of my hygiene. And... Um, I began physical therapy, you know, taking care of my uh, my body, my the reason why it was hard for me to walk, and on and on. And now I'm able to bring you guys more videos and um, my reconstructive surgery is gonna be coming June the 14th, and I'll have more. Uh, content to talk with you guys about during uh, my experience during, you know, my physical therapy, reconstructive surgery. And I, I'll bring you along on my journey as far as I would be able to take you guys. Um, you know, but I know that I'm limited as far as what I can do and what I can't do in, in, in the hospital about uh, filming on video and whatnot so stay tuned you guys and if you uh, haven't seen my previous videos go back to uh, those videos and and look at those videos and like share and subscribe and make comments choose to communicate with me through the comment section and, and give me your thoughts and especially after my surgery is over and after this journey is over, uh, in the comments section, I'll be looking for uh, what you guys would like to hear pertaining to cancer. And I'll, I'll bring that information to you. So you take care, guys. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.